Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about clothing care. So I wanna share all my tips for when it comes to laundry, how I like to wash and dry my clothes, including some really great shoe care tips as well that I swear by for keeping my shoes, especially sneakers, looking really white and clean and fresh and new. I think this is a great thing to talk about as well because it's one thing to buy new clothes and be excited about new things. I'm definitely like that too. But then on the other side, it's another thing to know how to properly take care of your items so that you can keep them for a long time and not feel like you need to keep buying more and more and more. I personally don't like to have too many things, but the things that I do have, I try to really take care of them so that I can enjoy them for a really long time and they keep looking good. So I hope that you guys are going to enjoy this video. This is also something that you guys have requested a lot over the years. So I'm really excited to be sharing these tips with you guys today and let's get into it. So starting with shoe care, this is something that I love love to do especially for my sneakers so I love white sneakers I wear them with basically everything but of course they're white which means they are definitely going to get dirty you accumulate these stains on the rubber especially so what I love to do for this is to use acetone I usually have nail polish on so I always make sure to wear gloves when I do this because acetone will remove your nail polish so just keep that in mind so I put on some gloves I put some acetone on a piece of cotton wool and I will just wipe away the dirt from the rubber and it gets off so well so quickly and it literally works on every type of shoe so on that lower rubber rim of the shoe this is actually something that Mo showed me a few years ago and since then I do it pretty much on a weekly basis it literally keeps your sneakers looking so fresh and so clean and it's so easy to do when it comes to the canvas part of the shoe so the actual fabric this is where you have to be a little bit more careful but for example sneakers like these these are a pair of my workout shoes they are from APL I've also had these for so long I absolutely love them and with these kinds of shoes you can actually pop them in the washing machine you can do a quick cycle if there are any stains that are a little bit more you know stuck in there you can also rub the fabric with some stain remover before you put them in the washing machine and then I just leave them to dry overnight and they are perfect they are basically like new shoes However, if you have other shoes that can't go in the washing machine, for example, like some of these, and if you have stains on the fabric, then I recommend to use vanish and a little toothbrush that obviously you're not using. So one that's just dedicated for cleaning. You spray some vanish on the fabric and then using the toothbrush, just really get the product in there and get the stain lifted and removed. And it does the job really, really well. Another thing that you can do is actually get your sneakers professionally cleaned. So that's what I did with these pair of Dior sneakers. I haven't done this in a really long time though. I think the last time I got them cleaned was about a year and a half ago and I've already had these shoes for a really long time so they're pretty old but it did work very very well. They're not as clean right now but if you do have a pair of sneakers that you invested in and that you really love it's definitely worth taking them to get professionally cleaned at a dry cleaners so that they continue looking nice and again you can keep them for a lot longer. Next I want to share a few tips for when it comes to washing and drying your clothes. Some of these are pretty self-explanatory and you guys probably know about them, but in case you're completely new to this topic, I just wanna kind of share the basics and maybe there's a thing or two that you might find interesting and that you can implement into your own laundry routine. So the first thing, of course, you have to wash your whites and your blacks and your colors separately so that the colors don't bleed on each other and that your whites stay really bright, your blacks stay black, not gray and of course in general most colors can go together I also always like to turn my clothes inside out before I put them into the machine especially for colored clothing so that the colors stay locked in better obviously when you put clothes in the machine there's a lot of rubbing and you want to prevent as much of that rubbing on the colored side as possible so that the color stays really vibrant this is also really important if you have like glitter or any embellishment on your clothes if you have kids for example or even any prints or anything like that just so that you're protecting that outer layer and also when I am washing my clothes I like to wash them on the sensitive cycle just so that I'm protecting the clothes a little bit more and that it's not too aggressive but with that said I will usually always wash my clothes on at least 30 degrees Celsius so that they really get clean of course you can always read the labels of your clothing it will say exactly at what temperature to wash the clothes at if they should be on a specific kind of cycle 
cycle, like a sensitive cycle. I do also like to hand wash certain items that are a bit more delicate, like certain pieces of underwear. Or even if I'm wearing a sweater and I got a stain on it and it's like a more delicate kind of knit, then I will also wash that by hand. I do also recommend getting a laundry bag for certain sensitive items like tights, certain underwear, any silk items or anything that's a little bit more delicate. You can put it in this little bag, you can throw it in your machine and it just helps to kind of soften the aggressiveness of the machine and keep these items looking fresher for longer. When it comes to laundry detergents and the specific products that I like to use to wash my clothes, I'll show you guys here the ones that I'm currently using. I'm not so specific on the brand, but I do like to have a separate wash for my black clothes, for my whites, and for more sensitive clothes. And then I also really love to have some kind of softener. I really like this specific one by Lenore. It's the Orchid scent and they also have these little scent kind of pebbles that I really like to put into the machine as well especially for our bed sheets because it makes them smell so so good I would also say to just use the amount that you really need of these products so that you're not over processing and chemicalizing is that a word <laughs> your clothes but just using enough for what you need. And then of course, not everything is meant to go into the washing machine. So there are certain tops uh, and certain fabrics and even like coats and things like that that are just not meant to go into the washing machine. So clothes like that are much better to take to the dry cleaners and just get professionally cleaned. So now once the clothes are washed, the second part is of course to dry them. And actually only tumble dry my towels, sheets, socks, some underwear, that are just cotton and not that sensitive but everything else I will air dry so I'll just hang them up on hangers we'll put them in our closet we'll usually hang them over the door and just let them air dry this is a lot better for the fabric because again when you are putting anything in the machine you're kind of rubbing the fabric and the fabric just gets a lot more texturized over time and a little bit more bumpy so when you're air drying your clothes you're preventing that from happening it is really important though when it comes to certain and items like sweaters that you're not hanging them because they get very heavy and then from the actual shape of the hanger you can distort the way that the garment fits on your body so for sweaters especially you can use this for other things as well I really recommend to get this mesh dryer it expands like that and you can put this over your bathtub over a sink and you just lay your sweaters on top and because it's mesh it will dry very easily it has air circulation you can get a mesh dryer like this on amazon but in case you don't have one maybe you're traveling and you got a stain on your sweater and just want to wash it really quick then you can also lay your sweater out on a towel and let it dry like that it's so much better than hanging it on a hanger but when it comes to regular clothes like tops or pants t-shirts joggers anything like that i will just clip them up and hang them them and let them air dry also a quick tip when it comes to washing your clothes is to not overload your washing machine so you want to make sure that you can still kind of put your hand in there there's like a palm distance between the top of the clothes and the top of the washing machine if it's too full your clothes are probably not going to get washed properly so definitely make sure you're not overloading the machine on that note as well I think just general kind of maintenance and care of your machine is really important so that it continues to work Work really well so for example you should always leave the door of your machine open so that you're not accumulating mildew and you're just letting it dry out properly another way to take care of your machine is to just run an empty cycle about once a month on a really hot temperature to make sure that you're cleaning the inside of the machine and the drum properly we also like to decalc our machine about every three to four months this is especially important if you live in a place that has hard water that tends to get a lot of calcium if you have calcium buildup in your machine that can also prevent your clothes from being washed properly so that's another little tip and the third part I want to talk about is proper storage of your clothes this might again be quite self-explanatory but I still want to share a few of my tips so for the most part I love to have as many of my clothing items hanging I love to see my clothes but again when it comes to sweaters and things that are a little bit heavier I think it's really important 
to fold those things. When life gets really busy for me, I tend to just take off my clothes. I like loosely fold them in my closet, but I highly recommend to not just ball up your clothes and kind of throw them in a pile because of course, that's not really great for the longevity of your clothes. It can make them look really frumpy. So if you're just simply not able to hang them up properly or fold them properly, just gently do it and then you can come back to it later in the day or the next day. Also a little tip that I love is to have these little scent sachets in my drawers and I just use those little Lenore scent tabs that I talked about before and I just put them in these organza bags. You can get these on Amazon and you can put these in your drawers and it makes your clothes smell so good. You just get a nice little whiff of fragrance. It's not too strong but it does leave this nice little lingering scent that I really love. You can of course also get pre-made ones but I think that's just a nice little touch to make your clothes smell good and just have a nice experience in your closet. On that note, I think it's also important to not overwhelm your space or yourself with too much stuff. So I personally like to have a smaller, simple and like edited collection of things that I'm actually wearing and using rather than having so many things that it just gets overwhelming and I don't know what I have. So I like to go through my closets every few months and just see what I can donate, what I can give away to friends. And I think that also really helps with maintenance of your clothes because again, you don't have so many. What you have, you can keep it organized, you can keep them clean and fresh and be excited to wear them rather than you know opening your closet and it's just so overwhelming with lots of stuff. So that's something that I definitely recommend as well. Also something that I think makes a big difference is to keep certain shoes and bags that you're not wearing very actively in dust bags and in shoe boxes. Sunlight always has an effect on the colors and vibrancy of leathers and fabrics. So if you're not wearing something, just put it away. You can even put a little picture on the outside of the box to remind you of what's in the box. But in general, this has really helped me to keep a lot of my handbags for a long time. I also do this with clothes that I own. So some of you guys might have seen my videos that I filmed in the past when I transition my wardrobe from spring summer to fall winter and vice versa. So I won't have my coats out or my boots out in the summertime and in the wintertime I won't have my summer dresses in my closet because it just gets a little bit too much and again I prefer to have a smaller amount of things but things that I really wear so that my wardrobe stays really functional and fun to get dressed in and I know that I want to wear everything in my wardrobe. So those are my tips for when it comes to clothing care, to laundry, how I like to wash my clothes, dry my clothes, store my clothes. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Again, I know it's something that's been requested for a while. So I hope that you guys found some really good tips and takeaways and I would love to hear from you as well. Do you have any specific tips for when it comes to this topic or is there anything in this video that you're excited to try for yourself? Definitely let me know down below in the comments. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're all having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.